what's, what's good? We're back. I got Jake and I got Pinstripe on number Yo, what's 16. Good? What's good? Memma's, what's up? What's up? Memma's not here. He's busy whipping that ice cream. So, whipping and skipping and flipping. And I don't know where Wheeler is. Actually, where's my Wheeler's probably making another cringy video right now. He probably is. My phone. I messaged him on Snapchat, but he didn't reply, so... Maybe he's with his grandparents or something. But anyways, uh, what have what have you guys been playing? Uh, I think I have been playing nothing. <laughs> nothing. Dude, I've I've just been making videos. I haven't played anything since the last uh, thing. Oh wait, no, I played some Overwatch. That that was it. I <clears throat> sorry, I've been playing uh the new Ratchet and Clank remake. I know that came out a year ago, but at least you're finally the game. getting to it. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm guessing Jake I, hasn't played anything. Oh, I'm sorry. I cut you off. Well, no, I've been playing some no, it's fine. Played, uh, it's pretty good. First dog that came out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm that's right. talk about it because I have a first impressions video coming. Uh, you need to um, hurry up. You need to hurry up and upload that. Yeah, I'm going to try and get it done this week. I have a lot of, um, I have a premiere project and two Photoshop projects plus right now, so I've been kind of... He's excited. There's a lot of Adobe stuff I gotta do this weekend. And uh, Jake, by the way, get closer to your mic. Yeah, like, why are you so far away? Get closer. Let me see if the gain is the issue. That could be the issue. It, with also, you being too far away from the mic, either that or his room is huge, so there's an echo. Yeah, he sounds like he's on his bed. <laughs> My room's huge, so that's part of the issue. Uh, yeah, mine. You're gonna have to put the mic closer to your mouth. But yeah, basically I've been playing that. Uh, been let's play in Xenoverse 2. And a little bit of Sonic Adventure. Haven't been playing it this week. Just, I got a lot of projects. I'm going to take care of most of my school projects tonight. So that way this weekend I can work on videos. Remember this oh. text to me. <laughs> I told him about Nappa and Ginyu being in fighters. It's probably going to flip his shit. What did he say? He said, what the fuck? Who asked for them? You know who's gonna be next. It's gonna be Raditz. No, oh, it better not. God, man, yeah, I'm sorry, uh, Pinstripe. What were you saying before I cut you off? I was just saying it was good. Okay. Uh, yeah. So yeah, uh, that's it. I'm sorry. I I've been playing nothing. I've been making videos. But uh, yeah, let's get on. Let's get on to this uh, news because there is a whole lot to talk about this week specifically in the other category <laughs> just so so much has happened well uh so i guess we'll start with uh so people found out on monday the day before the dlc characters came out for marvel infinite you could use cheat engine to play as the characters on pc oh my god <laughs> <laughs> and, oh my god i was just I was watching someone on Twitter. They were playing as Monster Hunter the day before the character came out. I was like, oh, oh my god, man. What, What is Capcom doing? It's... Being stupid as usual. Yeah. It's... Come on, Capcom. You know this game's going to be irrelevant in about three more months, Katie, right? Well, it'll be relevant for the FGC, but yeah, for everyone else, it's probably going to die. As soon as it hits February when Fighters comes out. That's it. The Capcom fanboys will still be playing it, but yeah, m most people will probably be playing fighters. Yeah, but um, see on the other news. All right, since Jake want to talk about this so bad, EA shuts down Visceral Studios because they felt like the Star Wars game they were making was like, I think they said the story was like too linear. So you already know, I'm pretty sure they wanted an open world game. They probably wanted like microtransactions and all that good stuff. Thought you were due. What's up? It's sad how much I don't care. Yeah, I know. It took you I guys forever to respond. What the heck? <laughs> well, see. I just didn't have anything to say. I got Jake, you. on the other hand, I don't know why it took Yeah, maybe he's like, he's just thinking that, uh, 
he's just thinking, I was like, oh my god, I'm never gonna get to play Dead Space again, even though he's probably, uh, he's probably never played Dead Space in his life. That's what I was thinking, like, why did Jake care? I've never heard him talk about Dead Space. Yeah. I played, the first and the second one I played with a friend, he, like, turned all my, he, it was his games, he turned his, like, all his lights out, fucking put on a fucking headset <coughs> in my ear and turned the volume up to the max. I scared the shit out of me, man. Cool. Yeah, dude. Like, I heard Dead Space 1 and 2 were really good. I, I saw Pinstripe and Cooper play Dead Space 3, and I was like, this game is shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> but yeah, you know, I already know. EA, EA's great. They shut down a good developer because they want that open world, always online, the season passes, the, the micro transact, man. Greedy EA. This is trash. What's new? But yeah, um, they're having the members of the studio. I guess they're having them work on other projects. But. What, what 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 did we expect? Uh, were you guys looking forward to a Dead Space Four? No. I mean, I heard Dead Space Three was meh. It's but shit. It's a decent it's game. It's just not a good Dead Space game. Yeah. I don't know. I thought they announced a Dead Space Four. No. <laughs> or maybe I'm, th I'm thinking Dead Rising Four. Uh, Dead Rising 4 already came out. Yeah, that's what I was thinking got announced. Well, back, not this year got announced, but like last year, I thought they announced a Dead Space 4 in development, but I think I'm thinking of uh, Dead Rising 4. Yeah. Is that's it bad I that I care more about the fact that they made Dante's Inferno than the fact that they made the Dead Space games? No, because isn't, isn't Dante's Inferno, like, pretty good? I don't know. I think that was what Memba told me. I know people complained about it being a God of War clone, but it's a good game, so... At least from what I've heard, I'll play it myself eventually. Yeah, I still haven't played it myself, but it's a game I've had on my radar for a long time. Let's see, on to other news. Memba's not here, so I guess I gotta talk about this by myself. Uh, the new character for Street Fighter V was announced. His name is Zeku. I'm not really interested in the character. He didn't. They didn't make him look that cool in the trailer. The only cool thing about him is that he has uh, he has Strider costumes, so he is a Strider, not he is Strider. He is a Strider because Strider is like their title, and then their name is next to it. Like Strider, hear you. He is a Strider, not Strider. <laughs> so yeah. it shows that the Zeku character is a Strider. <laughs> All right. Uh, on to other news, uh, IGN buys out Humble Bundle, uh, Pinstripe, this is all you. So, this move didn't really make much sense to me, partially because... Tax write-off, boys. It's, it's just out of nowhere, you know? Yeah. But, and uh, who knows, it might, it might help, uh... Like, it might help Humble Bundle be able to put out, like, even better bundles of games. It doesn't help you that... Know, maybe, it doesn't help that Humble more Bundle... more AAA titles and whatnot. It doesn't help that Humble Bundle is a publisher, because now IGN could be like... They could give the games that they're promoting a higher score, and they'll be like, go buy the game off our site right now. Wait, Humble Bundle's a publisher? Apparently. From all the news I saw, they're a publisher. And yeah, the I fuck yeah, and so people are afraid that the IGN, fuck. people are afraid that IGN will give higher scores to the games that they promote on their site, and then tell people to go buy them from their site. And, you know, Humble Bundle is a pretty good tax write-off for IGN, so <coughs> that people people are afraid. You know, with all the other garbage going on in gaming, they have every right to be worried. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, Shadow Wars microtransactions can be completely avoided by declining the terms of service. Healer is not here, so we can't even talk that much about that. But apparently, like, you won't get notified about loot boxes or whatever. You won't have to interact with the online. I don't have the game myself, so I, I don't know how interacting with the online works. But apparently, you don't really get pestered about loot boxes until after you've beaten the 
the uh, main story and you got to get the legendary orcs to get the secret and oh speaking of keeler told me that um the the orcs this wasn't a thing normally uh in the shadow of mordor the orcs wouldn't betray you unless you hit them but in shadow of war orcs you get out of loot boxes can betray you like at any time for no reason and since to get the secret ending you have to be able to get legendary orcs out of the loot boxes which takes some a lot of people like hours of grinding imagine finally getting that orc and when you're ready to go beat the shadow uh the shadow war to get the secret ending just to have that orc betray you like <laughs> imagine imagine how a person would feel and then they have to go get they have to go grind for more loot boxes to get another legendary orc that could possibly betray them again and that's called that's some bullshit yeah pretty much that they they you know they did that shit on purpose too you already know they did warner brothers is greedy as fuck <laughs> they be trying to make you guys buy loot boxes. i can't i can't wait for the next batman arkham game to have loot boxes in it well yeah oh yeah that's for sure we already know for Ubisoft, KD, Assassin's Creed, guaranteed, it, it's coming. But Assassin's Creed Origins is already confirmed to have loot boxes. <laughs> I knew Why? it was going to have loot boxes. Yeah, we talked about this in the last episode. But, yeah. I know, like, but... It was pretty much loot box central. Forza has got loot boxes. Star Wars has well, we loot boxes. You already know that The Last of Us 2 will probably have loot boxes. You know what's have loot boxes? Probably, because it's online mode. Yeah. I'm sure the next Smash will have loot boxes. No, it probably won't. If there's even if there's even another Smash, no, it won't, Jake. Nintendo's always behind with this stuff. You probably won't get loot boxes until the next console. It's disgusting, but I'm like I'm surprised they didn't put loot boxes in Super Mario Odyssey. You know how much money they could have made off that shit. Or <laughs> like you can buy costumes for Mario. Dude, what if they put loot boxes in, uh, if they had loot boxes in Breath of the Wild and Super Mario Odyssey, they would have been making money out the ass. Like, like imagine be being able to get the Dark Link costume through loot boxes, or you could oh, earn it normally in insane. game. It's like, oh yeah, it's really hard to earn normally in the game, but you know, you could always get some loot boxes. Maybe you'll get it. You know, Xenoverse Three is gonna have loot boxes too. Probably will. These greedy developers, man. Oh, if you want to get Super Saiyan 4 Goku, got to get it out of a loot box. Oh, you want Gogeta? Huh, you're going to have to buy a loot box. Uh, they're they're going to... 100% chance. They're going to put the key, the gear in the loot boxes. They're going to put the the Z souls or whatever. They're going to put the costume pieces and they're going to put moves in the loot boxes. Oh, they finally release it? All right. On to other news. Right. Cup, Cuphead sells a million. Is anybody surprised? No. No. Okay. The game blew up. Yeah. I thought I didn't think it was gonna sell that much, like you know, like at the very beginning. Mm hmm Yeah, I, I didn't. When think I first it sell heard about it, I didn't think it was anything that special. Yeah. It's just a like a, a kind of difficult I, platform, I guess. Dark Souls difficulty doesn't look like it. Uh, if people stop comparing everything to Dark Souls, we've had tough games before. Yeah. So, man. All right, but yeah, uh, I I still haven't played Cuphead yet. I can. But... I have. It's pretty dope. Okay, speaking of Cuphead, uh, Pinstripe and Jake are giving away a copy uh, later. So that's right. Stay, so stay stay tuned for that. Watch Jake be like, I I've never heard of this. I was never informed, even though I told him what like are you three times. About? I can see Pinstripe pulling that bullshit. Oh what? You see this last minute fuck shit that Pinstripe does with podcast recording sometimes. What does that have to do with him uh, getting yeah. Cuphead? At the last minute, he might be like, Oh, I don't have any money. No, Pinstripe that, doesn't do that. Do. Pinstripe doesn't do that. Pinstripe's cheaper than me. But the thing is, he Are actually you... he actually admits it, and he says when he doesn't want to spend money. He yeah. doesn't just he's not just like I don't have any money. <laughs> yeah. yeah. God, Jake, what? You're what? Jake, you need to learn 
to research your shit before you start talking it. Excuse <laughs> me? Yeah, boy. You want to start beefing the podcast, bitch, right? Hell yeah, I'm going to make a promo. Be like WWE in this. <laughs> WWE. Jake hates WWE. WWE, that's some fake shit. So, Scripted. So is a movie. The, the injuries are real. Most of the time. Fuck WWE. You're Why just would a you hater. Oh. Now I'd fuck some of the divas in WWE if you know what I'm saying. Cut that out. Why? <laughs> oh my god. Anyways. Alright. So I guess there was some game called Glassdoor or something that CD Project Red made. It had a lot of negative reviews. I guess over some employee dispute. I guess they were saying CD Project Red treats them like shit. And they had to come out and uh, respond. Uh, Because they don't, they usually don't talk that much. But they were saying they came out and they said uh, they prefer to focus on the games they're making instead of keeping people up to date on them. And they they said that's like the price you pay to make a good game. But how how do you guys feel about that? Who are they? The people who made The Witcher Three. Oh. Uh. Me. You think it'd be better if they just worked on the game instead of constantly updating the consumer? Yeah. Yes. I'd rather, like, just have one big update rather than all these little ones. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They also said it's uh, a pretty brave. It's pretty brave to assume that uh, one person leaving a studio could have a dramatic effect on the quality of the games they make. But, you know, look at what happened with Metal Gear Solid 5 after <laughs> Kojima left. Yeah, that was like two different games. Yeah, one, like, half the game was good and the other half was shit. Like, <laughs> that's why I don't be wanting to play it. Oh, like, I don't know, for me it's like... No, knowing one half of the game is shit... I don't want to okay. play that shit. Like <laughs> That's not shit. what I paid sixty dollars for. Like, uh, dude. Can he just live like super hard on anyone's end? Oh no! I don't Can know. He, like live super hard on my end. Well, uh, like I wouldn't be surprised if I did because I like, guess it's, it's really windy right now. So, like, oh, like satellite it, internet. It, like, what? Wait, what Do you have satellite internet? No. But like wind, wind can still interfere with the connection. Rain, rain uh, messes with it pretty hard. He's got the right. Really? Yeah. But, um, hmm. let's see, where were we at? Oh yeah, they also said they they doubled their staff size, so that's good. I I think the reason they came out to say this was because uh, Cyberpunk is coming out, and they don't want people worried about the quality of the game because of all this other anti-consumer stuff that's been coming out they don't they want to make sure cd project red doesn't follow suit because if if they did they would probably be in a lot of trouble but um jake i don't know if you saw this but (laughs) assassin's creed origins uh in the gamestop commercial or whatever they said that the bonus mission was blocked unless you pre-ordered I think they were trying to be funny, but they just pissed a bunch of people off. <laughs> what about them? Uh, repeat real quick, sorry. I said they had a commercial. Uh, like, GameStop had a commercial for Assassin's Creed Origins. And in the <clears> commercial, <throat> they said they said that the bonus mission was blocked off unless you pre-ordered the game. They were trying to be funny, but they pissed a bunch of people off. Yeah. Of course they did. Yeah. So there's nothing that much to say. Ubisoft and GameStop. This was a fucking stupid idea. Anyways, uh, the the Overwatch Halloween event finally came out. I'm guessing I'm the only one that's been playing Overwatch, and I haven't even been playing that much. You know I don't play Overwatch. I know. Pinstripe used to be addicted, but now he he'd rather just play MLB. 
I haven't even been playing that recently. Oh yeah, I forgot you said you got tired of the game. Yeah. yeah I've just been playing other games, but but uh yeah, the new costumes look pretty cool. I will admit the costumes do look dope. Yeah, but it um, actually it's there's actually a Symmetra skin I would like to get. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, uh I'll probably continue my grind for loot boxes. I, I don't know. I haven't been playing a lot of Overwatch, but it's it's worth a try, I guess. See if I can get that Reaper skin. I might want the the main one too. Uh let's see. All right. Oh, really good, dude. All right, so did anyone besides Keeler pay, play the Battlefront 2 beta? I, I did I not. barely played Battlefront 1. It's all right. <laughs> Battlefront 1 was... Anyway. Battle... That's why I played it for like an hour, like a couple hours, and it was like... What the fuck? Battlefront 2, like, gameplay-wise, it looks a lot better, but it's it it's, it's, it's pay to win. Oh, pretty much no. so it's like, fucking like the game the game's balancing is built around the loot boxes so so it's like Dokken battle where you have to buy dragon stone yeah god damn it yep in a 60 dollar game i'm glad i don't have to buy dragon and then, for a hot minute and then people are gonna defend it because you know the game the gameplay itself is pretty good but <coughs> yeah so I to buy dragon stone for the holiday thank god why are you even buying them I'm probably not going to, but there's no point right now. Is basically because since Japan is ahead of the um, the American version, I know what summons are coming out already. So pretty much, I've just been grinding Dragonstone. So I may not have to. I'm probably not going to. You have shouldn't to. need to anyway. Don't you buy no freaking Dragonstone? Oh. But then damn. again, that game's free to play, so it's not. It's it's not that big of a deal compared to it, buying the stuff in a sixty dollar game, but uh, let's see. Okay, more news of greed. Sledgehammer. Well, you said it's not as big of a deal if you're buying stuff for a sixty dollar game, or it's no, worse. it it's it's worse. I was saying if you're playing a free to play game, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, it's like I'm not dropping like hundreds of dollars on it or anything like that. I'm just saying there's a certain banner in like the game that you summon for that's like. Like I said, I know what's going to happen mm -hmm. already since Japan's like six or seven months ahead. I kind of already know what I can go for and what I don't have to go for. I haven't spent anything on Dragon Stones in like since fucking April. Okay. So I haven't had to worry about it for a while until like now. Soon. soon. I don't know when. Yeah. Uh... It's pretty much Gogeta is about to get a really broken card in the game, so yeah, uh, I'd have to get that Gogeta. More news of greed. Uh, Sledgehammer, specifically Michael Condry, uh, lied about cosmetic only at launch for COD World War II. PC gamers data mine the game. They found there are like 10 plus different kinds of supply drops. Uh, different types of note are... Uh, supply drops for each type of character you can have and there's supply drops for zombies now of course there are yeah like I didn't think they would do it this soon though to be honest <laughs> uh, I knew they were going to do it as soon as they could yeah uh, oh my god but yeah it's and, and it's going to work I'm gonna make m way more money Greedy ass Activision. Yeah, there's like 10, 10 plus different types of loot boxes. Mainly because there's also rare versions of those same loot boxes. Like there's rare zombie loot boxes. And uh, let's see. Um, going into more n news. Activision. So they had a patent in 2015 that they made. And uh, it was approved this month. And what it allows them to do, they can have a specific type of matchmaking in Call of Duty or any of their other games where you, that you can pair a new inexperienced player with a good player that uses DLC weapons to try and encourage the worst players to buy supply drops in hope of getting the better weapons. And the COD community is like on fire right now after hearing this news. <laughs> 
I mean, I, I can't even be surprised. Activision is just a bunch of fucking scumbags. <laughs> fucking to just take your favorite franchise and just completely destroy it. I like how the moment that was announced, uh, the the people from Bungie had to come out and be like, this is not in Destiny. And then Michael Condry tried to say that uh, he's never heard about this patent, so that so it can't be true. But this is the same person that said cosmetic only at launch, so you already know you can't trust that dude. Yeah, this is this is absolutely disgusting. But it's it's Activision. What do you expect? It's gonna make exactly that. They're gonna make billions of more dollars. But uh. Let's see. The, the ESRB declares that microtransactions are not gambling. They they compare it to buying a booster pack and opening it and you being mad because you don't get the card you want. I I agree with that. Yeah, that that does make more sense. And plus, if it actually was was gambling, like the games would probably have to be rated like adult only. Yeah. Well, it's. It's exactly like that, honestly. Yeah. I mean, look at all the sports games. Like, they have microtransactions, but that's it, exactly what it is. Yeah, speaking of, I heard 2K, uh, NBA 2K18 is just, like, completely built around the VC now. And freaking YouTubers that only make 2K content are, like, promoting it. Like, there was this dude, iPod King Carter, and he was, like... He was he took a screenshot of him and this other dude that was practicing because you can raise your character stats by practicing. He was like he was like, Oh look at this, I wanna do it the, the hard way as dude boy. If you don't sit down and buy some VC, I'm like, Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> oh god. Yeah, in MLB it seemed like while Road to the Show was somewhat popular in the past mm -hmm. now any content related to that game was all for the online mode yeah and uh people were talking about how they do this because development costs keep going up and how people keep buying games used or pirating their games but it's like maybe if you didn't spend a hundred million dollars on marketing you would make more money yeah like see for sports games it's like they some of them don't change too much over the course of the year didn't, that they're playing didn't rise of the tomb raider so like four million units uh i don't know i think so i heard it sold a whole I lot that game and yet. then I gotta play that game. and then square enix tried to say they barely made a profit but well that one i kind of understand that that's like basically a blockbuster movie right there but yeah, plus they, they spend a shitload of money marketing the game. Like if these that that too. And honestly, the fact that Rise of the Tomb Raider was a timed exclusive, that probably yeah. did not help at all. Yeah, that was stupid. That was like first that... it was only Xbox, then it was PC and Xbox, and then finally, a year later, after probably everyone's played it, PS4. The time timed exclusives are so stupid. <clears throat> As they are. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I've never played Rise of the Tomb Raider or a Tomb Raider game but that. I need to play some Tomb Raider, man. But you won't. <laughs> You'll just oh, keep playing okay. Doak in battle. No, he'll just keep playing Rayman Legends. Either that or he'll he'll just buy he'll just buy Rise of the Tomb Raider right now just to prove me wrong. Nigga, I gotta get that PC first. You're not getting no PC. Are we putting him on charges for that? He's been buying parts, but we are we already put him on charges for that, and he was declared yeah, guilty. Yeah, but I actually have been buying parts been straight. But the thing here is, it's I, always but I the thing have, here is. I could have gotten it probably by this month or ninety nine percent of my parts. However, what part is one percent? Probably okay, the graphics I could card. Have gotten like ninety percent of my parts. Like, okay, it was a little more of exaggeration, Pinstripe. All right, but I, basically, I, I, I know. <laughs> I just had to. <laughs> While it out. getting my parts, I decided to pre-order the Mario Odyssey Switch bundle. 
don't you, know if you heard about that. You could have had your PC forever ago, but well, for some know, for some I reason it PC took like 15, 20 years ago. For some reason it, it took you forever to decide. Oh, I'll just buy the parts separately because you're an idiot. Because I'm an ignorant moron. Anyways, we moving on. We knew that. Anyways, uh, yeah, single player games are dead. Why are you questioning my ignorance? Uh, that's kind of stupid. stupid. I'm proud of it. All right. Yeah, Leave they're they're life. they're not making as nearly as much money as online games though. So you know these developers. Well, while that is true, mm-hmm. it's like yeah, it's not they're they're not dead. And if yeah. people think they're dead, it's because developers keep making shitty single player games and they don't make money or they'd spend too much money on marketing and shit and gra- and the graphics good people just want a good game yeah uh, it's like it's like man what happened to word of mouth like come on now you can, you it's see, funny because you, you nowadays did for word of mouth should be one of the easiest things yeah it's like look what it did for cuphead yeah stupid developers all right let's see all right so in europe there was a put there's a petition made for the government to uh investigate or like respond to uh like the loot box situation i think they got a hundred thousand signatures so the, the government now they have like no choice but to look in the loot boxes and have their own response to the uh, predicament. Now, would this be similar to, like, China's response, where they basically had to list the odds? Oh, China, China's different. Like, each place does their own thing differently, but yeah, China... Yeah, they, they force the people to reveal the odds of them getting stuff out of loot box. I don't know how Europe is going to respond, but... Wait, hopefully yeah. something good happens for them but you know we're probably we're probably still gonna get we're probably gonna end up getting the short end of the stick still <laughs> no doubt as america we're gonna have most of our games taken out put in loot boxes and no. jake's gonna love it no you see we're instead of getting rick rolled we're mm-hmm. gonna be trump rolled so every loot box system will have something donald trump related in it oh god no. so I don't think we're gonna get the short. Oh, end we're gonna we're gonna get a small loan of a million dollars in a loot box. I can tell you who's gonna get the short end of the stick. I wish. What, Jake? I can tell you who's gonna get the short end of the stick, and it's not us. Who? It's, it's obviously gonna be Australia. Australia always does, but they'll they'll just be suffering with us. <laughs> like they already... Australia doesn't doesn't get what they they don't they've never really gotten what they want. Didn't they ban, like, Left 4 Dead in Australia? Yeah, they also banned Mortal Kombat. I think it was 9. Yeah, uh, I'm not living in Australia. Yeah, you are. You love Australia. Fuck no! Anyways, finally on the console-specific news. Star Ocean The Last Hope 4K Remaster announced. For what? Who asked for that? Exactly, like... J- do JRPG fans even care about playing these games in 4K? Now, the, the Last Hope was the one from PS3 Xbox era, right? I don't know. Let me let me I'm double guessing. check this. I, I want to say that's right, but I just want to make sure. But if that is the case, nobody asked for that. <laughs> you don't want that 4K? Yeah, it's the one from 360 PS3 era. Nobody asked for that. It, like, like what made the? It, wait, wasn't this one made for like to? Wasn't this one to uh, made to appeal uh, more to Western audiences? I thought that was the one on PS4. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It could have been. I, I could have. It could have been like a step, and then the PS4 one was a bigger step. Yeah, the PS4 one sucked though. Yeah, that's what happens. Um, well, see, the thing is, mm-hmm. first off. This game's fucking huge. It is. Yeah. Is it good? I don't know. Oh yeah, you, you haven't played it. I've been told. Well, see, the 360 version spans three discs. Jesus Christ. Which, you know, since the blue PS3 is Blu-ray, mm-hmm. so 
they were just able to store more as it was. Mm -hmm. But that's that's still huge for a game of that generation. Yeah. Because Lost Odyssey was kind of the same way, but you got to remember Lost Odyssey looked beautiful. Uh, why, though? I yeah, just don't get it. <laughs> it's like, I don't think that many people are going to go out and buy it again. Just for I'm not 4K. saying The Last Hope was bad, but... It's too Western. It's just not something people really asked for. Too now, Western, boys. if they would have done a remake of 1 and 2... Because, I mean, they did that on PSP already. Mm -hmm. But it'd be nice to see it, you know, redone again. Yeah. Uh, or if they just completely remade the last game from the ground up, because that game was trash. You know. <laughs> just, I don't know. I'm sorry, that's true. Well, maybe, maybe it's just a sign of things to come. Because apparently, the Last Hope was a prequel to the original Star Ocean game. It was. Yeah. Okay. So, we'll see. All right. Uh, Sony teams up with police to help them improve their high-speed driving skills using Gran Turismo Sport. I think they used the VR version, and they were teaching them about like understeering and oversteering. Uh, going too fast around corners stuff like that to help them improve their driving ability does this make you want to be a cop jake you get to play gran turismo never play gran turismo no you're right you're, you probably can't play a game like that anyway gran turismo is more is for car enthusiasts but um speaking of they removed gt mode from the newest one uh gt mode pretty much was you would get a secondhand car that sucked and you would like race with it and then you would get better parts uh you would get credits to get better parts so that you could uh tune your car the way you wanted like this was a mode it was like a career mode and it was specifically for like racing enthusiasts you would improve your car to try and race against other people um but they removed it because they said most of their audience now pretty much they don't they don't know that much about cars so they thought they would just get rid of it do you, do you guys think this was a good idea jake <laughs> what's up did you not just Were hear what i said listening? i zoned out for oh that. my for god me. jake i'm tired as fuck dude okay? no you're not i was up late last night whatever Fucking... Whose fault is that? Mine. Anyways, okay. anyways, I think I think this is this is disappointing, but I'm not really into drive sims. I like street racing games, so like, yeah, I'm better but, though. Like, I don't know, have an opinion. To, yeah, but yeah, th this sucks for the this sucks for those enthusiasts. Now it's it's the game slowly being casualized. Like, what the heck happened to Drive Club? Where's Drive Club Two at? Go casualize that game. Can we, can we I want to play Drive Club too. Actually, can we can we keep the integrity of Gran Turismo, please? <laughs> Anyways, on the Xbox news, Phil Spencer believes crossplay with Sony will never happen. Thoughts? Uh, I I could kind of I I don't see it personally. Yeah, especially since when Xbox was winning with the 360 and Sony tried to do crossplay, they were like, "Fuck you." Yeah. yeah so this and, is just Sony fighting back. Like, as much as I'd want to see it, I I just feel like there's probably just something internal that, you know, you don't think of. Well, the, you know, it's probably... The, uh, it's probably bad in terms of, like, the risk of, like, hackers and whatnot. I don't know, man. Like, from everything I've heard... It's so easy. Like the developers for Fortnite, I think, I think we went over this. Apparently, they like flipped a switch and they had crossplay, and then Sony was like, "Turn it off." What's that? I think like it, even the developers of Rocket League, they were like, "Dude, we literally have a switch that we can just turn on 
and cross and bam there's cross play I think mm-hmm. Sony is just full of shit it's like no we don't we don't we don't need it's I like, think they're just doing the whole I'm telling thing man, Xbox is doing to them yeah, you know but, like, fuck oh, no yeah, these companies are only for the gamer when they're fucking losing now if Nintendo was winning right now I'm sure they would. Have. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if Nintendo was winning, we'd have crossplay. <laughs> yeah. But let's see. Uh, NIS America says Microsoft isn't very supportive of Japanese games. Is is anybody actually surprised? R- Can you run that by me again? NIS America says Microsoft is not very supportive of Japanese games. I fucking knew that already. Like, they're not, they don't really care about appealing to niche markets. Well, you see, this, this has been a thing for the longest time. Mm -hmm. Ever since the original Xbox was out. Right, right. Like, the only, I can only think of like a few Japanese games that were on the Xbox. Uh, Shenmue 2. Hmm. Panzer Dragoon Orta, I think that's the one on Xbox. Mm. Uh, Sudeki, whatever the hell that is. Uh, I I can't think of any other ones. Which but which Xbox are you talking about? Or are you just talking about all Xboxes? This is the Xboxes? original right now. Okay. I I really can't think of any other like Japanese games on that console. Yeah. But then you got the PS2, like, holy shit. Yeah. You know, that that's... If you want to get into JRPGs, pick up any Sony console, like, for real. Like, you can't go wrong with getting a PS1, PS2, PS3. I'd love to go into a game store and, be, and hear someone say, I'm really into RPGs, so my friend told me to pick up an Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, well... We got Fable. My God. That's about it. Is that a JRPG? It's not a JRPG. Yeah. It's just an RPG. Yeah. It's like the only but, one I can think of wasn't Tales of Vesperia or whatever on see, the 360. But there's see, a Tales Japanese of version Tales of Vesperia was a 360 exclusive here. Yeah. But it, In it, Japan, it came out on PS3 as well. And that yeah. was the like complete version. That's the one you want to play. That's hilarious. But, and, you know, 360... They got a little more support mm-hmm. from Japan developers. Not that much more. Yeah. Like, hell, you know, Star Ocean The Last Hope, that originally came out on 360, but mm-hmm. then the better version came out on PS3. Love it. <laughs> like, the only games I can think of on 360 that would have mattered to anybody getting into JRPGs mm-hmm. uh, that's not available on PS3 whatsoever Mm -hmm. would be lost odyssey blue dragon uh those are really the only worthwhile ones that are exclusive ps3 what blue dragon wasn't for ps3 no i actually didn't know that i thought it was they had a ds game jake you don't know about no blue dragon I knew about there was a game, I just thought it was for PS3 and Xbox. No. You don't even know what Blue Dragon is. I watched the whole series, Kitty. No, you didn't. Shut series. up. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have Memba animal. test you. I'm gonna have Memba test you. And if you get one thing wrong, you're getting put on charges. Automatically okay, guilty. I the series as well as the first. Yeah, so. see? You, you're lying and talking about I watched all of Blue Dragon. Shut the hell up. Watch the first series, and- okay? No, it's not okay. Series, this is not okay. I couldn't find the second series anywhere like Ed, 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 you stupid I, bitch. I don't care if I haven't seen any of Blue Dragon. This is not okay. Do you understand? Anyway. Where'd she go? I'm gonna fucking kill you, Katie. Yeah, right. <laughs> Anyways. The Master so- Chief Collection, huh? And, uh, I'm just going to finish up this thought. Yeah, okay. Because, like, it was funny because even if a game did come out on 360, uh, you were just better off getting the PS3 version. As, as far as I can tell, 
Final Fantasy 13, it was a lot better to get it on the PS3. <laughs> and hell, I know that game had like three discs on 360. Mm-hmm. And only one on PS3. Oh, God. There's only one exclusive. It's called Operation Darkness. That's on uh, what the fuck 360. Is that? Don't play, it's a piece of trash. Oh, my God, dude. The goal of the game is to fight Hitler, kind of like Persona 2. <laughs> oh, yeah, 2. Persona 2. <laughs> but. What? But the thing is, the game is. It, it's. They're. The back of the box is advertising fighting vampires and werewolves or some <laughs> shit like that. In what World is this? Twilight? I know! Oh my and, god. And I tried playing the game and I wanted to break the disc. I'm sorry. I hated that shit. I'm so sorry. I only got it because it was an Atlas game. God, dude. Damn it. I'm done. Uh, the Master Chief Collection will get enhancements for the Xbox One X in 2018. Why? Jake, Jake, you have an Xbox. Will this make you buy the Master Chief Collection? I already have Master Chief Collection because Keeler gave it to me for free. Okay. Will you buy the will Master Chief buy Collection Xbox again? One X. Oh fuck no! Oh, I thought you were. I thought you were going to. I was. I'm gonna. I'm still gonna buy an Xbox One X when I can, but. I mean, it doesn't make me buy it. Want to buy it even more? KD. I just have a 4K TV. Will you buy a second copy it. of Master <laughs> Chief Collection? What? Will you buy a second copy of Master Chief Collection? Oh fuck no! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, I never bought the first copy, KD. So, yeah, well, give me credit. I got the first copy for free. So, if I did buy a second copy, I it wouldn't be as bad. Good. Uh, what pin straight? Watch Jake end up getting an Xbox One X before his PC. I won't. Better fucking bet. Not. You need to stop playing that shit. Destiny is still gonna be 30 frames per second on it. Why? I know. I know how much you love Destiny, cause it won't be fair. See, the, see, a console like this is still gonna get held back because of freaking console parody and shit people on the on the weaker iteration of the console can't run the game at 60 because they're too focused on the graphics so the people with the better version of the console are going to suffer because the weak ass hardware that the other people have i can't play destiny 2 at 60 that's why i'm getting it on pc not now much later because i don't want to buy destiny 2 right now <coughs> Because apparently there's there ain't shit to do, so yeah, I'm skipping that. But are you sure you won't buy another copy of the Master Chief Collection, Jake? Ooh, I probably won't. I didn't even. You know what's funny, Katie? I installed what? Keeler's copy of the Master Chief Collection. Still have never booted it up yet. Have you even played a Halo game? Yeah, I have. Which one? Halo 1, 2, a little bit of 3, um, and Reach. Okay. I haven't played Halo 4 or 5. It's okay, apparently they're trash. I know 5 has microtransactions. And f- I they made, play more they made 4 three. like Call of Duty, right? Should have ended after 3. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, that's, that's all the Xbox uh, news. Pinstripe, you, you gonna get an Xbox One X or a, a... Or Master Chief Collection? Well, I mean... I'm sure at some point I'll get the Master Chief Collection. Just so I can finally experience the Halo games. Oh, you've never played Halo? No. Well, i never played through the story. Okay. I've played, like multiplayer when i was younger okay but uh will i get an xbox one x just for that fuck no not even if it's in 4k no (laughs) because see 4k just doesn't matter to me i'm more concerned about 60 frames yeah that's what these developers don't fucking understand the thing is if the xbox one x it is a 4k console 
but all the games are still in 30 frames mm -hmm. to me that just kind of is a waste of money is that personally why, is just that why you didn't get a ps4 pro for horizon zero dawn yeah because i mean it it's not going to improve every single game first off yeah and second you know i i could have got a ps4 pro just to see horizon at 60 frames mm -hmm. but the thing is then i would have to buy but a 4k tv just to make it look good oh wait i forgot doesn't horizon have options it's like yeah i see horizon has options sort of like a pc game yeah so like you can tone it down if you want and mm -hmm. all that but you need the PS4 Pro, obviously, for yeah, all of the uh, different options. Yeah. <clears throat> hey, what's up, member? But again, I don't have a 4K Stu monitor or TV, so it's like, what's the point, right? Stu now? He's, fi he's finally here. Yeah. All right. Well, it's funny because he got here right when we we're about to start on the Nintendo news. <laughs> Wait, is he we're actually there? Is he saying right? anything? Yeah. We, we 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 started before we actually discussed the topics, but since Memba's here, we can we can talk about it again. Yeah, I told him Nappa and Ginyu. Nappa will have Cybermen to help him, and Ginyu can summon every member of the Ginyu Force while he's fighting. Yeah, how do you feel, Memba? I don't care about either of those characters. Exactly. Where the fuck is Hit? Give me Hit. Oh, They're gonna get, get lit. Hey, you know, you know who's gonna be next in the reveal? He's, they're gonna reveal Raditz next. No, they're probably they're gonna announce Rebrian or some shit. Oh wait, no, because then that will spoil it for the people who won't stop fucking watching the English dub. It's not, it's not a spoiler if it's already out in Japan. <laughs> you right, you right. Fuck them. <laughs> this, this is your punishment for watching the English dub. It's not a spoiler. Oh my god. Okay. But yeah, who, who cares about them? Give me hit, please. Give me a... We probably won't get... Jiren will probably be like DLC. That's not okay. <laughs> what if P... What if... What if Pecan was a character? Pycon? Yeah, Pycon. I'm surprised Pycon isn't already a character. Pycon, is, Pycon is cool. You think we'll get Broly? No. Mm. I would not be surprised. I'm kidding. We probably, we probably would. Just I safe guess. Never know. I don't know. Who the fuck asked for Nappa and Ginyu? No one. Oh, God. Uh, I did not. God, dude. Anyways, on to Nintendo news. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Before we move on, it let's get the fighting game related news, uh, for Memba again. All right. So first of all, what fighting game really? You could you could use Cheat Engine the day before the DLC ca characters came out for Marvel Infinite to play as them. Capcom fucking up once again. All right, uh, Zeku. I know you like Zeku. You can talk about Zeku. He's. I don't like him. I don't hate him. He looks cool, but in terms of his character, he looks. Um, uh, okay, I don't hate it. I was never really a big fan of Guy in Street Fighter, but this get but Zeku looks kind of interesting. Um, for anyone that doesn't know, so the way Zeku plays is that he has two different forms, and he can pretty much change into either one at will. He'll always start off as old Zeku, which is pretty which which is more like mid range base, but he still has like a lot of combos and everything, and then like younger Zeku where you can change by using his V skill or just by pressing two punch buttons he can um he can change into younger Zeku which is more which is a little bit more like rush down base close range um he probably has the biggest move list in the game right now he probably had yeah, the most ex yeah, the most extensive um there's a breakdown video I believe Vesper RK made a breakdown video on it um He's. I don't really know. I don't really know how to ex, how to really explain him that well, but he seems kind of interesting. He has like a command flip, like a like demon flip. He has a command run, and he has um these kick like these shadow kick moves, but are all all have different command inputs and they all have different strengths and they all do different things. So it's it's pretty interesting. Um, 
in terms of like just the character himself and just how he looks and just his character and personality as a whole i'm not i'm not gonna say it but i hate it but i'm just okay with it i'm content with it it's not like it was when abigail came out and i just fucking despised that character because abigail was a stupid addition to the game and, uh, even even if he is good or not i still don't think he's i still think he's a lame character um but zeku's probably in terms of uh in terms of interesting characters in terms of gameplay and personality wise i probably have to say he's like among the top three of the season season two roster because ed's lame colleen's lame and abigail's fucking terrible um i'd probably say akuma is probably number akuma or Manat is probably like number holds the number one spot for most interesting season two characters but hopefully we'll get some like actual cool interesting characters in season three Hopefully we'll get some of those nostalgic characters that people have been asking for. Yeah, because that's, cause that's what that's what the game's missing. The game's missing those popular iconic characters. Since you haven't made the video yet, uh, we could talk about this. So apparently, uh, data miners have discovered that in season three we will be getting four four uh, legacy characters and two new characters. Uh, if you want to know how I feel, if if one of them is not Sakura, then I don't care. Because I probably won't be playing the game. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, how do you feel, Memu? Who, who do you think mm. will be those four ca- legacy characters? Sagat and Sakura are definitely going to be in there. Yeah. I, I people, believe so. People are talking one might be Sea Viper. Sea Viper should have a spot in the game. She's in the story. She's in the character story. Yeah. Why is she not in the game? She's probably like one of the most important characters in the story so far. At least I feel like it. Yeah. If you guys have actually been paying attention to the story, but who pays attention to the story? Mm-hmm. Anyways, two, um, two new characters probably gonna get a couple of those dumb Mad Gear characters. I don't care about them. Mm-hmm. Oh. Abigail, like I said, dumb addition. Um, I don't want. Who cares about the Mad Gear character? Like, what do they even do? They get beat up in their original game. That's what they do. You can. I don't care about no dumb Street Fighter Five. Characters. They try to make them seem like they're stronger than they actually. Get out of here. <laughs> never cared about. Never cared about freaking. Never cared about Maggie. Never cared about Abigail. I don't care about Hagar. Hagar's from the Hagar's from the same place with the Maggie games, and I hate Hagar in Marvel vs. Capcom. God. Anyways, but um. It would, you would you would be doing a you would be doing the game justice if you just made the entire season three roster full of legacy slash nostalgia characters i need to see sagat because everyone's asking for i need to see sakura i need to see viper i need to see makoto or something i don't know just characters that people like like q or something i don't know give me oro actually yeah yeah put oro in there put oro in there too i want oro but other than that um it's looking i mean it's the next season of street fighter 3 in this in terms of like super or street fighter 5 arcade edition just like what we've been hearing from the day and mine is looking pretty promising so i hope catcom's actually doing something right with this step forward so okay good. that's good good stuff good stuff i for some reason google just notified me of some new news related to the switch but we'll, we'll talk about that <laughs> later uh but yeah there's there's your breakdown of all that fighting game news uh i don't know if you care about this member but uh so people just found out activision they have had a patent in effect since 2015 they're trying to so they have a special type of matchmaking for cod where inexperienced players get paired up with good people that use dlc weapons to try and encourage the weaker players to buy the supply drops i want to i want to know how you, how you feel about this hold on repeat that one more time i don't think i heard you right okay activision has a petition in place uh this has been a thing since 2015 and it got approved this month pretty much this matchmaking allows them to pair weaker inexperienced players like new players or people that just suck with people that use dlc weapons and are good to try and Why? to try and encourage them to buy supply drops. Why? What do you mean? Why? 
It's that moolah. Oh my god, dude, are you kidding me? Nope. They're, they're probably Twitter. gonna lose a player base. They're probably gonna lose like a fraction of their player base because of it. They won't, but the money they make will make up for it. They've been making billions off the supply drop. They make more off supply drops than they do off the game. They don't care. They don't care. I can't believe I'm hearing this right now. These, these casuals will support it. They don't give a shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Another thing I forgot to mention. Uh, Zomb uh, there's like going to be 10 different types of supply drops in COD World War 2 and get this. There will be zombie loot boxes or zombie supply drops. What for the zombies game mode? Yeah. Oh my god. What? Yep. Why? What the oh my I should money. even ask why. I already know money, why. Money, 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 more money. God, whatever. I mean, like like are you are you surprised? This is Activision. I shouldn't even be surprised. I don't, I don't want to I have nothing to say on this, dude. Uh, this, I know it's it's disgusting, but let's let's move on to this Nintendo news, though. So, so, uh, so you can now capture, you can now capture video with the Nintendo Switch, but it only supports four games right now, and those are Breath of the Wild, Mario Odyssey, Arms, and Splatoon Two. You you can save the last 30 seconds of whatever you're hitting the button for and then you can trim it and stuff you know how you, how you want seconds, yeah only 30 seconds fuck that who just joined that wheel nigga, 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 nigga. oh my god <laughs> that was sam was that, that was sam that yeah. was Canadia boy god sam Demonetized. Why is he even in this server? I don't know. <laughs> Why is Sam? I'm not. I'm not the there? one who let him come in here. But <laughs> hey, Sam. He left. He, left. he did. Yeah. He already okay. left. Like... All right. So um, yeah. Uh, how how do you guys feel about this? I think that's pretty. What's cool. the point if? They're just going to not monetize it. <laughs> uh, you already know. Yeah, the moment that video goes up, because I'm pretty sure you can put it on YouTube too. Nintendo's just gonna monetize it. Uh, on the other news, uh, they announced a game called Crazy Justice. They showed it as a Switch game, but it, apparently it's also gonna be for the Xbox One, and it's gonna have crossplay. It's a it's a battle royale game, I think. Speaking of Switch games, I want to know what they're doing with that pocket, not pocket rumble, that rumble fighter game. But I heard about like when they were first when they first announced the Switch. That's supposed to be like a little indie fighting game that's supposed to be on the oh, Switch. Oh, it's gonna Exclusive. be on PC too. So it's gonna have crossplay between the X Bone, the Switch, and PC. Which game? What is it called again? Crazy Justice. It's, it's a battle royale game. Dang. Sony's I need I need I need to look at more stuff, more info on that. Sony's out of loop again. <laughs> but, but um, let's see. Uh, all right, we got release dates for some third-party games. Doom Ooh. will come out November 10th. La Noir will come out November 14th, and Skyrim will come out on November 17th. Jake, you're getting a Switch, right? Yeah. I'm surprised Skyrim isn't coming out first. I know, right? Yeah, Jay, go get Skyrim. You've never played it, right? But you've never played it. Uh, I didn't know what the fuck I was doing after an hour. I just started killing chickens. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like GTA. You just run around, and do whatever you want. There's a lot of side stuff too, but but yeah, it's fun to just goof off in Elder Scrolls games. But yeah, uh. You have it on 360. Yeah, you should you should stream it one of these days. But uh, speaking of, well, uh, then again, I think I told Pinstripe already. But whenever he plays Oblivion, he needs to stream it. Yeah. But uh, freaking don't let that game sit there and collect dust, Pinstripe. That is a very good experience that you are throwing away. <laughs> that's 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 the next that's the next bag of crack for you. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Anyways, alright. 
So Nintendo is now increasing their Switch production to 2 million Switches a month. So we're not going to have artificial shortages? Nope. Switch is, Switch is selling. Too much demand. So more, like more Switches. The artificial shortage bullshit. I mean, you know you wanted them scalpers. Them scalpers sell you a Switch for like... Three hundred fifty dollars. Fuck them scalpers. They're the reason I paid ninety ninety dollars for a freaking pax pax ticket. Just about to burn that <laughs> up. Fucking scalpers. They're the only reason I wasn't able to buy it for forty eight dollars when they first dropped them. Damn scalpers. You love them scalpers. <laughs> Freak it up. Goddamn scalpers. Fuck them, boys. Yeah, man. That's uh, that's all the news we've got. And we have been recording podcast, an hour and five minutes. Before I end I, it, I think... Well, I really joined at the last minute. Yeah, that's why I wanted to bring the, the fighting game news back. Just to make sure... Or to see how you, how you felt about it. How? But, um... But, uh, yeah, I guess I'll ask like uh, a question uh i guess since since in the past month like loot boxes have just been you know the, the huge craze i guess i'll just ask like do you guys think loot boxes are okay i don't mind them if somebody else well see if it's like overwatch loot boxes yeah where it's where cosmetic it's only just for skins you as know, long like as that. it doesn't give you an advantage in the game i am okay if it's like that, then I don't care. But, see, with Shadow of War, if what you're saying is true, how yeah, the pretty, best pre- ending is locked behind a loot box, that's fucking stupid. Yeah, it's because you have to to beat the Shadow War, you need, like, a legendary orc. But the problem is, at any time, that orc can just betray you for no reason. <laughs> it wasn't like that in Shadow of Mordor. In Shadow of Mordor, you had to hit the orc, like, three times before they were like, fuck you, I'm gonna kick your ass in freaking shadow war according to keeler they can just randomly betray you and they can hold your other orcs hostage dang so it's like what's the point of spending all that time getting a loot box or even paying for it just to have your legendary orc betray you in the middle of a shadow war like come on the way i see it as long as it doesn't give you some like advantage in the game or it locks but like content but or the game or con or like game content locked behind loot boxes i'm okay with it but if it's just like overwatch that's fine yeah it's cosmetic only yeah that's yeah, that's fine that's how loot boxes should be yeah the developers for cod like they always lie about it like they say like when black ops 3 came out it was supposed to be cosmetic only but it wasn't selling as much as Activision liked, so they made them put really broken weapons in there and like stylish emotes and stuff to make people want to buy them. And you know, now they've got this petition or not petition, they have a patent to make it so that they're the only ones who can do this now, but now they can make it so people, good people that use DLC weapons will always get easy games now. So they can be encouraged to get loot boxes and i remember one of a commentator i watched they said they knew something was up because the re- they played tdm a lot and the reason they hated it was because everyone else on their team would be trash and he would always have to carry the team and so now so now like you see if there's someone on your team that's really good that carries you with a dlc weapon they'll be like "Ooh, if if i get that weapon i can i can be as good as this guy and then they'll want to buy supply drops. <laughs> Where you have less than a 1% chance to get a gun. I think some dude spent like $1,500 on supply drops and he didn't he didn't get a gun. He got like some melee weapons, but he didn't get a gun. And then, wouldn't want to be that guy. But, yeah, for me, if it's cosmetic only, it's fine, but... If you if you get an advantage or it helps you get through the story faster and fuck that, or if you have to get something out of there just to progress, Jake, what's up? Do you, do you not hear what I just asked? I heard like part of it. My but God, not See, really. this dude don't be listening. I'm gonna have to kick him out. 
I'm tired as fuck, okay? I'm no, sorry. No. It's too late. It's too late to apologize. Just shut up and ask me the fucking no. question. All I heard was about game uh, progression. Our loot box uh, is okay. For game progression? It's in general. Our loot box is in, in $60 games okay. Or no, my, our no. microtransactions in general in $60 Do games okay. You know what okay. it is? It's DLC on steroids. <laughs> You know how DLC is what? where they hide part of the game out? Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's like that, but on some fucking crack. That yeah, is, it is more like crack because there's people addicted to this shit. It's DLC on crack. DLC isn't really okay though either. What do you mean DLC is fine? The only reason it, it depends on the game because some developers will just take certain parts of the game out and then they'll be like this is dlc well i'm talking about like xenoverse 2 story dlc what story dlc the universe 6 story the future trunk story hell even in xenoverse yeah. 1 the gt story oh yeah i, I forgot about that remember oh, that... you had to buy that shit wait, wait which part of dragon ball super did they lock in a xenoverse DLC? 2 yeah the universe six versus universe seven saga and oh shit I, I i gotta play i gotta play that shit yeah it's the oh. first story i gave that to you i didn't know I, you did you didn't tell me that was in the season pass i might have to play it right after i had freaking yeah stop the podcast all the dlc yeah there's a universe six uh saga one and then there's a goku black saga one i'm oh, sure you're not gonna play the goku yeah black. i'm probably not gonna do the goku black saga probably, Yo, the what goku are they gonna black one that's what are that, they gonna dude, do? They're gonna drop Super 17 and then. <laughs> oh, yo, do you wanna know what they did with what? Goku Black Saga? What? They had you fight Goku Black and eventually you got to the future world. Yes. You fought fucking Goku Black, Zamasu, and then these niggas summon Cooler, Janemba, <laughs> Omega Shenron, and Super 17. All what the, the fuck? To fight at the same time. Then you fight Fusion Zamasu when he has eight bars of health. <laughs> This nigga with a fucking tank too. All of your hits did you shit. <laughs> and then like, you know when you get to play as Vegito? Yeah. Oh, it's after like two bars of health, so you don't start whipping his ass until two bars of health. And then after that, Vegito disappears and you're on your own in the last bar. And by the way, this nigga Fusion Zamatsu, one punch with that fucking codeine induced arm, fucking does half a bar of health. You love it. He does supers that do like two bars of health in that fight. You that love fight's it. harder than the actual final boss in the game. The final boss was a joke. I know. <laughs> like, like uh... Katie, I'll tell you one thing: if you want to play the Fusion and Zama, the Fu uh, Goku Black Saga, it's it's definitely challenging. And oh wait, hold on. Let me. I need I to get to. I need to get to the level cap first. I still haven't done that. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh. Let me tell you. The, um, there's a certain, Z, uh, in DLC 4, mm -hmm. um, there's a certain parallel quest that we have to do, because mm -hmm. it's physically impossible to do with NPC. Like, it's actually impossible. Are you sure um, you're not just garbage? Just pull it up real quick. It's the very last one. Um, are you sure you're not just garbage? No, like, there are people have told me, like, no, this, this freaking... Can you remember the fucking NPC? <laughs> you you told me fought Janemba, Omega Shenron, and no, fucking you told me that seventeen that parallel quest and fucking hit just stood there. Yeah, but the thing is, I could have done that parallel quest by myself. I did it by myself in the last ten seconds. Oh, you didn't get out of here, Jake. I beat it in ten seconds. Shut up, Jake. You needed my help. You were like, I can't beat this parallel quest. It's too hard, and I bodied it. With with Dude, my QQ bang wrong. off, by the way, you're freaking trash. You're, you're trash. Humans are apparently better. And you're, you're trash. Okay, <laughs> so for I think it's one twelve. What are you talking about? Parallel it quest. Show the, which enemies are in there? Fuck, that doesn't help me. Oh yeah, by the way, freaking 109, you fight Toa and Mira again for some reason. Wait, when did Xenoverse 2 come out? It came out last year, right? Yeah. Yeah. And they put the Universe 6 versus Universe 7 and Goku Black stories in there? 
Yeah. Isn't that like SDLC a isn't that like a isn't that like a spoiler for the people watching the English dub? Yes. Oh wait, Memo said it's not. It's not a spoiler. It's I mean, already out. Not really, because that would consider Ultimate Ninja Storm would be considered a spoiler. You're right. Okay, so it's your first spoilers. match. Okay, Katie. So in 112, in order to beat it in 15 minutes, you have to defeat Nappa. Mm -hmm. Then you have to defeat Zamasu. Then you Why have to Nappa? defeat Cooler and Frieza. Um. I believe you have to be you have to be Goku Black. So these parallel quests are so stupid. They just throw it's like Destiny. They just throw Android a bunch 16, of bullet Android sponges 17, at you. Android 18, Kid Boo. You have to defeat Lord Slug, Broly, Janemba, Broly again or no, no not Broly again. Broly and Janemba. It's both of them at once. Oh, sorry. Um, then after that, you have to defeat Fusion Zamasu, who has, looks like about three bars of health in addition, the, in addition you have to be, to do the ultimate finish, it is Super 17, and then it turns into Android 17. You have to defeat all those in one parallel quest. God. It's just like Destiny 2, they just throw a bunch of bolt. they just throw a bunch of enemies with a ton of health this dude at beat you, it. stupid. Uh, let me see when he cleared this shit, just because I'm curious. He cleared it in 13 minutes and 50 seconds, meaning he had a minute 10 left. Lol. And he had NPC, so... Possible, but it's annoying as fuck. You love it. You love what is it, this Goku Deborah costume? What the fuck? Oh, yeah, freaking... Yeah, that's that's everything. I'm at I'm at end the thing now. You guys want to say your goodbyes? Um, Jake sucks. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, goodbye. Uh. Yeah, Jake sucks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I knew everyone was gonna say that shit. But only members Yo, said this, it. Okay, look at this Goku Deport costume thing. I will after I uh, end the thing, but. I post yeah, in the see Discord you guys. Chat. Jake is trash at Xenoverse too. We'll probably. Uh no, I'm better than I'm better than Katie. Katie ain't nah. shit in Xenoverse. What do you mean, Jake? I caught up to you in like two days. What level were you like? 88. I was okay. level 100, nigga. No, oh, oh, the cap went up to level 99, by the way. Oh, finally. Yeah. Do I have to have DLC pack five. No. Better freaking not. <laughs> but yeah. uh... Yeah, it was super easy to catch up to Jake. Jake sucks. His his character is ugly too. He looks like he looks like Kodak Black. You mean Kodak White? No. Yeah, I'm Kodak talking about your White. Saiyan character. Yeah, my Saiyan character looks like Go Kodak White. <laughs> no, he looks like I'm talking about the black Saiyan that you made. Oh, dude, I, in the shit. thumbnail, remember? Oh shit, Katie. What? Um, new Dragon Ball movie possibly coming out next year. Oh my god. Why? Oh wait, is it the one where Broly apparently becomes a legendary Super Saiyan god? Uh, I don't know. It revolves around Ultra Instinct Goku, that's all I know. Oh god. Why? Why does this need a movie dedicated to Maybe it? Maybe Broly will get Ultra Instinct. Why the fuck would... Legendary Super Saiyan Ultra Instinct Broly. Broly doesn't need Ultra Instinct. Legendary Super Saiyan is already a busted up or, or a busted enough form. You just you get stronger the longer you maintain the form, so it doesn't even matter. Are we still recording? Yeah, but anyways, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna end this now. Jake sucks at uh, Xenoverse. Shut up, Jake. Sucks. That's right. You said goodbye, me. right? Yeah, okay. and I said Jake sucks. I'm better at fighting games than Memba and Katie. Yeah, fuck. And I'm better at JRPGs and Pimps, right? Shut right, up, Jake. Right. Fuck microtransactions. Jake is garbage. I'm telling video, uh, Jake, eventually on a group video, you're going to get exposed. I don't know why you talk yeah. all this trash. People are going to look back and be like, man, this guy fucking sucks. Oh, I know. Like, you don't even play games. I'll, I'm going to put a link to your PSN profile and your Xbox Live in the description so people can see it. Be like, man, this dude trash. <laughs> yeah, be like, like, man, he doesn't finish games. Great exposure. What? You gonna send me to the great exposure? No, I'm just gonna put a link to your profiles in the description so people can see that you don't play games. When are you gonna finish Sonic Adventure? 
Oh no! I should have finished that game Luigi. already. Yeah, that game's hella short. Like, I don't what? know. Neither do we. All right, in conclusion, Jake is trash. Again, a Who million times. Shut the hell up. No, garbage. I'm gonna get exposed. Fucking bitch. I haven't been uploading, Jake. I upload.